afterwards, I mean, we are in no hurry, but we are in hurry here. So, I'd like to short it. Uh, uh, next speaker, Professor Hagit Eldar Finkelman, GSK3 inhibitors for the treatment of diabetes and the CNS disorder, disorders, targeting the substrate binding site. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> um, the research in my laboratory is focused on the enzyme glycogen synthesis kind of 3 or GSK3 and its important implications in several pathological disorders. So GSK3 is a, actually is a serotonin protein kinase and it is a novel drug discovery target for diabetes, neurodegenerative disorders and affective disorders. Apparently, the protein kinase activity is elevated in these pathological disorders. So actually, we find hyperactivation of this kinase. This hyperactivity will cause or will actually change uh, several processes in the cells and will contribute to the development and severity of these pathological disorders. Now, in terms of mechanism, in the context of diabetes, GSK3 phosphorylates two important targets of insulin signaling, the IRS protein and glycogen synthase. And by this phosphorylation, it inhibits their function. So GSK3 is a negative regulator in insulin signaling. In all degenerative disorders, GSK3 phosphorylates tau, it has propoptotic enzyme and also interacts with presenilin and other neuroproteins all of which are important parameters in Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders such as Parkinson and Huntington disease. Effective disorders. So lithium is a known mood stabilizer uh, frequently used for treatment of bipolar disorders. And lithium actually is a, an active or it's a uh, effective inhibitor of GSK3. And recent studies show that GSK3 is an in vivo target of lithium, and therefore GSK3 is also implicated in affective disorders. So what is our rationale and approach? So we do suggest that inhibition of GSK3 will have therapeutic values in treating these diseases, and therefore our strategy or our proposal is to design specific GSK3 inhibitors as um, as a future drugs for treating these diseases. Our strategy and approach is divided into three directions. We develop peptide inhibitors for GSK3. Based on our knowledge of the peptide inhibitors and additional uh, information that I will uh, explain later on, we also have approach of development of small molecules inhibitors for GSK3. And finally, we develop a novel screen assay to identify specific GSK3 inhibitors, and this will also identify and select a specific type of inhibitor that is the subset competitive inhibitors of the enzyme. So what is our strategy and what is the novel approach as compared to other approaches? What you see here is schematic presentation of protein kinase, and most of protein, ki protein kinase inhibitors developed so far are ATP competitive inhibitors. And they have a severe problem in their specificity and limited specificity because this region is highly conserved among protein kinases. On the other hand, our approach is to target the substrate binding site. So we actually aim to develop a subset competitive inhibitor and we rationalize that those inhibitors will be more specific, will have less side effect, therefore will be safer and will be more applicable or, or better used for clinical applications. So uh, just to make a long story short, we ended up with our leading compound, which we call the L8 or 3 mets It is a peptide inhibitor that we have developed. Here are some of the physical properties of the peptide. It has 11 amino acids. It is subset competitive inhibitor. It is uh, cell and tissue permeable, as you can see it on the right panel, and we could show it in animal models as well. It is, it is specific. It does not inhibit a wide repertoire of protein kinases, and this is in contrast to other ATP competitive inhibitors available in the market. It is stable, and also we did some MTD studies with this 
peptide inhibitors. What are the biological activity of what LF23 mats? And here I show you just a summary of all, most of the, uh, all the in vivo experiment that we did. So LH03 MET promotes anti-diabetic activity in cells as well as in animal model, and we use two animal models, the OBOB mice and the high fat diet induced diabetes mice. In the CNS arena, we could show that LH03 METs promote antidepressive behavior in animal models, and we could also show that it protects neurons from cell death. I also would like to emphasize that uh, in addition to our group, several other groups in the world and independently we're trying and testing the LH03 mats and showed uh, its uh, biological activity, uh, especially in the, in the term or in the context of the CNS disorders. Here I'll just talk a little bit about our small molecule inhibitors. So the challenge is targeting the substance binding site, which is quite a, a problematic channel or, or difficult challenge. And what we do, um, we uh, use the unique feature of GSK3, which one of them is recognition or specific recognition of a phosphate group. We also use, among others, uh, computational modeling. And what you see here, one example of GSK3 protein, which is represented here in, in the gray. And uh, this is actually analysis, docking, docking analysis of GSK3 with its substrate CREB. And we could identify specific sites which are um, marked it in, in the red dots, specific site within the catalytic groove that interacts with the substrate. So based on this computational analysis, in addition to the biochemical analysis that I will not show here, we could uh, develop a strategy for a design and development of small molecules, non-peptide, substrate competitive inhibitors. And what we have so far is two families of inhibitors that we term GS and MP. They provided proof of concept in in vitro system, then they were subset competitive inhibitor. They were bioavailable in cells and in vivo system, and we have some preliminary and preclinical results with one of the selected uh, inhibitor, GSC7, which was also shown to be oral, uh, orally bioavailable. So in summary, uh, we develop a strategic platform uh, for rational drug design for subset competitive inhibitors of GSK3, and this is in contrast to the wildly or traditionally used ATP competitive inhibitors. We have a leading compound, which our peptide inhibitor LH03 mats, that produced a, a valuable therapeutic activity in diabetes and CNS disorders. We also have a set of small molecule inhibitors that were shown to be subset competitive inhibitors, and currently we try uh, to develop or we develop a lead optimization on these small molecules that we have. Thank you.